what's up you guys welcome back to my channel oh my god she knows i don't let her sit on my lap when i'm driving so she's taking her opportunity but what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so for today's vlogmas video obviously the theme is lifestyle um this is my schedule for vlogmas so if you're interested in any of those topics make sure to tune in on those days but today i am showing you guys my new car so it's a new car tour and i'm going to talk about some of my car essentials oh my gosh ava is just <laughs> you're not being a good uh co-worker but anyways, yes, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my car. I have the Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring. It is a 2020 and I love it. So just wanted to show you guys what I'm riding in and some of my car essentials. So I'm sorry, but I have to do a voiceover for the outside part of this tour. So this is the outside of my car, that nice grayish color. Um, the Mazda symbol on the grill of this car looks super nice. I honestly didn't even know what the Mazda symbol was before I got a Mazda. <laughs> and I think I mentioned this later, but I got this car in August. Um, this is what the back looks like. So a nice, spacious, regular uh, like SUV. Perfect size for me. Um, but yeah, now let's get into the inside, my favorite part. All right, so the baby is on. But I'm about to turn it off so I can show you everything. So this is what it looks like in my point of view. So first, obviously the steering wheel, super nice and clean. And then it was a push to start as you guys can see. And when I turn it on and off, it has a nice little vibe going on um, and then over here is the display screen so whenever I'm looking at my GPS or changing the radio station and things like that it will display here here is the like mouse toggle thing where you turn it um, to toggle between different features and then you push it down to select which one so here I'm just showing you how it works to toggle side to side and then you can push it in to select but I have it turned off right now on mute so you can push it to turn it on. Turn it up, but I'm turning it down so I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> well, it also um, can go in sport. I've never tried it before because I'm like terrified of going too fast in the car or like going way too fast, you know what I mean? So I haven't tried the sport yet, but yeah. Also, the speakers are Bose speakers. Like what? And they're super loud, super great. Also, another reason why I got this car was because of this gray wood, I guess, area that came with it, as well as the gray stitching. They had another one that had brown stitching, and I made sure to pay t attention to those little details um, because it just looked better, and it went so well with the white seat. The white seats are absolutely gorgeous. It makes this car look like a luxury vehicle, in my opinion. Um, I don't really let people eat or drink in my car that much just because... You know, I know once I get a stain on it, it's over for it, but yeah. Then over here, typical rear view mirror with a sunglasses holder. Above that have my light switches, but then also my sunroof. So like I said, I have the Grand Touring and the Grand Touring comes with the sunroof. And I believe the other one does not. I'm not sure, but yeah, love the sunroof. Um, so yeah, that's everything here. I've still kept this on there i don't know why i probably can take that off but you know and then the little placemats on the floor that say cx5 also what i like is just the display screen for okay 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 the display screen for all of the information so being able to look at um different things so i think this is the lane departure i'm in park right now but this is where basically if you are headed off of the road they will alert you and assist your wheel to turn back on the road. How many miles I have left to E. And then just the regular dashboard. So yeah, this trip A is basically the only trip that I have on this car. So I have about 23.59 miles on this car. So yeah, now let's head to the back seat. 
So, in the back seat, oh, I also forgot to say, and this is where I change the AC and also have the option for heated seats, so super fancy. Mm -hmm. um, but in the back seat, no control over the AC or anything back here, just the typical, you know, toggles, the two seats with the seat pockets in the back, um, and then just a middle car seat um, holder thing, which this also has a USB port with some cup holders. I forgot to show, but this one, um, the glove department, it does have two USB ports and an SD card slot. I still haven't used that, as well as a uh, cigarette lighter card charger one, but yeah, still haven't used the SD card um, option yet, but when you plug in here, that will turn on the airplay so that you can really, you know, get your text messages, calls, and stuff like that through the car. Or do it through Bluetooth. So yeah, that's the back seat. Nothing too crazy here, you guys. Um, this, I'm going to talk about when I talk about my essentials, but this is what I keep in the back of my car. Now let's head to the very back, the trunk. Also, I really like the design of the key. It's really sleek and all the buttons are on the side. So very nice. And it does open the car when just close to it. You can lock it or unlock it. Just like that. So this is my trunk space. Sorry, it's a little messy. I just took out some wood and other like craft stuff that I had back here, so sorry about that. Um, but yes, trunk space. Finally, my old car did not have that. Um, I also like the seats go down. Honestly, this space has been a game changer for me because my last car was a Toyota Corolla and it was much smaller. So all the DIY projects and stuff that I've been doing, it's definitely come in handy to have a bigger trunk space that I can just throw everything in the back and take it on home. Let me just give you guys one final montage before getting into some of my car essentials. All right, so obviously it's starting to get a little dark, so I'm gonna hurry and speed this up. But as far as some of my car essentials that I like for my new car, first, and I know you guys might have seen it in the back, is this, it's like a car trash can. I got it off of Amazon, I have a little bag in it. Um, I don't try to put like food or snacks or anything, but more so like receipts and things just to keep the car clean. Um, it comes with these buckles and straps so you can wrap it around a car seat um, so that it's hanging off, but I just keep it right in that middle, like back, park it, back pocket space on um, the ground or the floor. And then it has these little side pockets where I keep different things. So another essential, this is um, like a dusting cleaning gel. So you use this to clean out like your vents and different things like that. And it smells good, but you just do it like that and it'll clean up all of the dust. And it's that easy. It just sticks right to it. Another essential is just having this phone holder. I got this from Ross for like $6 and it just slides my phone in and adjusts like that. But yeah, as far as other things that are my essentials to keep this car nice and clean, I have these glass cleaner wipes. These are definitely a must, especially sometimes, you know, my hair's a little oily sometimes and it'll get on my uh, window. So just having these easy wipes instead of like actual Windex and um, paper towels just having some glass cleaner wipes. So definitely get you some of those. Um, and then lastly, what I have in here are just some more cleaning wipes that you can use. I got these also from Ross just to, to clean out the car. In addition to that, I just have a whole bunch of wipes. I have some 
leather wipes so i think this might have also been from ross i just picked up a lot of things when i first got this car and i do use them here and there i don't use the leather wipes that often because it's supposed to like help clean and condition them but i don't have to do that that often um but yes wipes for leather removes dirt and grime to reveal leather's best look and feel definitely get you some of those if you have leather seats because with these white seats I'm not trying to have nothing, you know. Another car essential will be this windshield sun blocker thing <laughs> that I got from InsourceSale.com. So definitely check them out. I typically park my car in the garage, but um, you know, if you have a car where you are in an apartment building or you have to park outside and it's very hot outside, definitely check out having a car like shield. And this one sticks on to the window and you just pull it to the other side and last but not least is my car vacuum so this is definitely also an essential it's not super super powerful it was cheap it was from amazon so i might end up getting a newer one that is a little bit more powerful um but this definitely helps pick up any loose dirt or loose like crumbs or anything like that that's in the car I can easily plug it in to the car jack because it has a carport. Do a little <laughs> sucking up. So yeah, you guys, that is my little car tour and my car essentials. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what type of car you have or what has been your favorite car in your lifetime. Like, did you have something that was old reliable? Comment down below what car you have. Um, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already and make sure to turn on your post notifications to be updated every time I upload. I will be posting a video every single day up until Christmas for Vlogmas. Again, this is my schedule. So if any of those themes interest you, make sure to tune in on those days. But yeah, you guys, I hope you like my car, my whip. What's popping? Brand new whip just happened. Hey, what's popping? Brand new whip just happened. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you later or tomorrow. Bye. Actually, come on, I'm going to park in the. Ah! Ava, come here. Ava. Ugh. Sorry about that. I'm going to park in the garage. She's barking at my neighbor. All right.